Kian Bexi here with the counter signal. After driving across the Netherlands from blockade to blockade, I ended up with a convoy that was making its way across the southern end of the country so that they could blockade an undisclosed location. Now, they've just pulled over and they've stopped after some news came uh, through the grapevine that the police actually started opening fire on their fellow protesters just north of this location. Hey, hey, weapons, young, weapons. Hey, we'll let it back, young, we'll let it back. Weapons is that. No, so you don't make my weapons. It's pretty scary stuff. Now, this prime minister, this leftist globalist prime minister, will stop at nothing to silence any dissidents. Uh, just like Justin Trudeau will, just like Justin Trudeau will trample over protesters with horses, these police officers will brazenly fire at them um, with little to no regard for anybody's safety. It's pretty horrifying what's going on in this country. And it's all because of well, this, this prime minister that is eating up Klaus Schwab's policies and pushing it on the people. Now, I was able to speak with one of the farmers here today, and he told me that this protest was actually inspired by the Canadian convoy. Well, I think uh, lots of people got inspired by the Freedom Convoy of, in Canada uh, way before when uh, the COVID protests uh, started in Holland. So lots of people followed uh, uh, the truckers in uh, Canada. Uh, and some of those people are joining the convoys in the Netherlands to uh, support the farmers. And uh, some farmers are of course aware, and especially truckers who join convoys as well. They, um, they, especially truckers, followed the convoys in Canada. So, you know, shots were fired at protesters um, just a couple minutes ago. Is that normal here in the Netherlands? Why are police acting like this? Well, no, this is not normal, and uh, we've seen this this kind of aggression uh, within our police forces since the last two years. Things got more violent and more aggressive. Uh, but growing for the last two years. And just very quickly, what is it that the farmers want? Well, it depends. There are the different uh, parties within the, f the farming community. Some of them uh, want to innovate more to uh, reduce their uh, carbon, the nitrogen uh, output. Some of them just want the whole plan off the table. Scrapped. They're just totally scrapped, yeah. Do you think the Prime Minister is out of touch with farmers? Do you think this is a World Economic Forum plot, as some other farmers were saying? Well, yeah, uh, they're out of touch for sure. Uh, that's what we've, we've seen in the media for the past uh, days. Um, because they, they assigned a mediator who's not popular at all uh, among the farmers. So the government uh, is acting strangely lately. And uh, of course, it has everything to do with the agendas, the 2030 agenda, uh, and of course, uh, interconnected also the, the WEF goals. Yeah, I'm sure. We're going to keep you up to date with what's going on here. Please go to DutchUprising.com. I need your help to do this work. Uh, there's no one in the mainstream media covering what I'm covering right now for some reason. Uh, I can't do it alone. I need your help. Please go to DutchUprising.com. I need help paying for this very small rental car. I need help paying for the hotel that I'm hopefully going to find tonight. Maybe I'll be sleeping in that rental car. We'll find out. It's very fun here in the Netherlands right now. But we are doing it so that we can share what is going on here because the mainstream media refuses to do it. For the counter signal in the Netherlands, I'm Kean Bexty. We will continue to keep you informed as this story unfolds.